What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video, I have two examples for you. One of them is to expand x squared plus y squared to the power of 3 and the other one is going to be x squared minus y squared to the power of 3. So when you expand it, you're going to have 3 choose 0 x squared to the power of 3 y squared to the power of 0 plus 3 choose 1 x squared to the power of 2 y squared to the power of 1 plus 3 choose 2 x squared to the power of 1 y squared to the power of 2 and finally 3 choose 3 x squared to the power of 0 y squared to the power of 3 so when we have to the power of 3, we're going to have 4 terms. If it's to the power of 5, for example, you're going to end up having 6 terms. So, and the exponent of the first term is reducing, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the other one is increasing from 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. How do we find 3 choose 0, 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2, 3 choose 3? The formula is n choose r in factorial over r factorial and minus r factorial or you can use pascal triangle when you use pascal triangle the numbers are for third line 1 3 3 1 so these are the coefficient binomial coefficient 1 3 3 1 so when you write it it's gonna be 1 time x squared to the power of 3 is gonna be x to the power of 6 y squared to the power of 0 is going to be 1. This one is 3 times x squared to the power of 2 is going to be x to the power of 4. y squared to the power of 1 is going to be y squared. Next one is 3. x squared to the power of 1 is x squared. y squared to the power of 2 is going to be y to the power of 4. And then you have this one 1. x squared to the power of 0 is 1 as well. Then you have y squared to the power of 3 is going to be y to the power of 6. So that's going to be x to the power of 6 plus 3y squared x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared y to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 6. So basically that's going to be the answer to x squared plus y squared to the power of 3. Now let's look at x squared minus y squared to the power of 3. So again when you expand it's going to be 3 to 0 x squared to the power of 3. Now the second term is going to be negative y squared. You write it like that. x squared to the power of 1, negative y. This is very similar to the previous one. But instead of y squared, you put negative y squared. So that's 1, 3, 3, 1. So x squared to the power of 3 is going to be x to the power of 6 because this one is 1 as well. Plus 3 times x squared to the power of 2 is just going to be x to the power of 4. Negative y squared. So it's going to be negative 3y squared x to the power of 4. Next one, that's 3 x squared. Negative y squared to the power of 2 is going to be positive y to the power of 4. Because negative times negative is going to be positive. So the answer is going to be 3x squared y to the power of 4. And the last one is 3 choose 3, which is 1. x squared to the power of 0 is 1. So these two is going to be 1. Negative y squared to the power of 3. So negative to the power of 3 is negative. y squared to the power of 3 is going to be 6. So that's pretty much the same as the previous one, but every other number, or every other term is going to be negative. So that's the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding binomial expansion and other topics in math, chemistry, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.